It is one of the rare occasions where I have to go on site, so let me bring you along with me. Ooh, about three hours later, I'm finally at my destination. So I'm gonna rack up two firewalls right now and connect the management interfaces so then I can start configuring them when I get back home. I'm gonna be hooking up two Fortinet 3401s. And I'm only gonna be connecting up the management interfaces, which are those right there. The rest of these are 25 gig ports, but I'll be running those at 10 gig, and these are 100 gig uplink ports. Cage nuts. Here's a little trick I do if uh, you have to rack up something that's heavy by yourself. Plug everything in, and it was really loud and cold in here. Luckily, I had this awesome heater to keep me warm. And of course, cable manage everything. Four 10 gig SFPs. I'm gonna need more than this. Gig fiber. Ooh, nice. Ford in the console cable. Ugh, my laptop died in my backpack. Then disconnect up to the console, and this is gonna be pretty much my next couple hours. In total, this took about three hours or so, and there was a few issues here and there. And I actually had to move the HA interfaces here because that's actually a one gig port. And that's the main thing I have to do on site because after this, I can just configure the rest of it via VPN. Now, normally I can send someone else to do the rack and stack. But for this particular customer, I wanted to go personally. The rest of the configuration will take anywhere between two weeks and a month because after traffic's going through there, I'll have it on learning mode for a while so I can get information for the rules I need to create. And of course, always clean up and leave the place exactly as you found it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed a quick look into this. I'm really looking forward to making more videos like this. So please follow for more security content. Thanks.